If you haven't been living under a rock for the past year, chances are you have heard of the COVID-19 outbreak of 2019 that possibly started from a live animal and seafood market in Wuhan, China. Animal viruses that can cross over and infect humans are called zoonotic viruses. There have been multiple outbreaks of zoonotic viral infections in the past. SARS, MERS, Ebola, Nipah, and COVID-19, to name a few. Interestingly, bats act as a reservoir host for all these viruses. A reservoir host can maintain a pathogen population like bacteria and viruses while experiencing little to no sickness. So how do bats survive despite carrying so many viruses that cause deadly diseases in humans and other animals? Keep watching to find out. Hi everyone, I'm Reza and you're watching Scientastica. If this is your first time watching, in this channel I illustrate and talk about intriguing scientific topics. If you like my content, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as I post a new video. Without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. When pathogens like viruses and bacteria enter our bodies, the immune system can use pathogen-specific antibodies, small protein molecules called complements, and specialized cells like neutrophils, dendritic cells, and macrophages to sense pathogen DNA and protein patterns and destroy pathogen-infected cells. This immune response is often accompanied by fever and inflammation, making us sick. A combination of several existing theories and research results may explain how bats can carry so many viruses without getting sick. First, bats might have an elevated antiviral defense. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. And during this flight, bats' metabolic rates can increase up to 15 to 16 times the normal rate resulting in an increased body temperature up to 42 degrees Celsius or 107.6 degrees Fahrenheit, similar to a very high fever. The increased body temperature during flight is often beyond the temperature limit which the pathogens can survive. But increased body temperature can also damage bats' own DNA. So bats may have evolved to increase production of DNA damage repair machinery during flight. This also repairs any DNA damage caused by viruses. Research also shows that bats have higher expression levels of interferons, a protein family responsible for antiviral defense. A second theory suggests that bats may have increased immune tolerance to viruses. A research performed by scientists in Wuhan Institute of Technology in China shows that bat immune system has a lower sensitivity to viral DNA or RNA indicated by loss of functionality of a protein called Sting, which is involved in inflammatory response to viruses. The dampened expression of Sting allows bats to show no inflammatory immune response while carrying high viral load. Unfortunately, recent outbreaks of bat-borne viral diseases have resulted in worldwide culling and destruction of bat roosts. Bats are very important for our ecosystem. They eat harmful insects that damage crops, they are crucial pollinators, and they play important roles in our agriculture. Humans have constantly invaded wildlife territories since the beginning of civilization and it is natural that viruses spill over from animals to humans. In Bangladesh, several families contracted the deadly Nipah virus in 2011 by drinking alcohol made from fermented date palm sap from trees where bats are known to roost. Similarly, Hendra virus infection in Australia started in a horse farm built near flying fox habitat. COVID-19 started from a live animal and seafood market in Wuhan, China, where pangolins, snakes, and turtles are illegally traded alongside other intermediate virus-carrying exotic animals. 
to protect ourselves from these deadly zoonotic viruses, aside from practicing good personal hygiene, it is important to know our places in the ecosystem and have respect for all the diverse species that cohabit this beautiful planet we call Earth. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. If you have any questions or suggestions on what my next video should be on, please comment below. Until next time, I'm Reza and this was Scientastica.